Hello internet peeps, Colin with you today and we've had some bad weather here recently I've never heard the wh wind whistle so much in my life it's been bitterly cold I mean I know there's colder place in the world but we have been suffering recently anyway I have quite a few bits and pieces to show you um, at the back there there's five um, Let's move this up the way you can see the movement better. There is five haulers, the Hot Wheel haulers. Larger scale than the normal ones, but there's sort of like three Art Deco buses. There's one bus there that says sort of like a prison transport bus, and I've changed the wheels out on it. Uh, let's let's, let's so show you some. So this one has been changed out. These are the wheels that are taken off something else, but I think it looks it looks well, it looks right to be fair. Um, plastic base on these. They did have um, plastic wheels, which I'll show you on another type, but that's quite a rare beast. I've not seen that anywhere. Why it's got a spoiler on top, but that's Hot Wheels for you. Um, I'm pretty sure this is new out the packet. I have altered the front. The engine was just too ridiculous and I've downsized it a little bit and it looks more reasonable now. Um, I'm quite pleased at how that turned out. This um, one with the sort of like British flag on it, if I can pick it up, is um, a Diabolical Dr. Fo uh, Fo Fraser's Lasers. There you go. Those are the um, typical type of wheels. These are screwed together as well mainly. That's got a rivet in there, but new, new, mainly screwed together. Nice, quite nice wheels on that. You wouldn't. You? Nice looking truck. You don't see these very often. This one was new. I've had it a while. This one. Quite a rare beast. And I'll just show you one of the buses. Ooh. Quite heavy, but it does have a plastic base. These are riveted together, plastic wheels. But I just like the Art Deco look of these. My type of thing, that that is really is my type of thing. Not everybody's bag, I know, but that looks like a spaceship at a Flash Gordon, the early black and white one with Buster Crab. Sort of like the tail fin, it reminds me of that, that's just occurred to me. If anybody remembers that far back, the spaceships that used to go around, like, oh, like uh, sparklers coming out the back, there's a blast in the past. Anyway, today um, we've got a few different makes for you. Um, I wanted to focus on Shuko, so there's quite a few Shukos here today. But my primary reason for my um, video is to show you some of my customs. And this one I'm particularly proud of. This is called the MG Morris, but it isn't an MG Morris. It's a Hot Wheels car. Um, this is actually a Morris minor woody because this back piece is actually wood like the woodies uh, hence the name and um, this is the better one uh, version in my opinion because they actually pick out the wood paneling on, on the other versions they tend to be all brown at the back it's a racing car or, or was until i messed with it hence the parachutes on the back and the bar to stop you tipping um i would like to have made it a normal stance but there's only so much you can do with it because of the low um, front in it. I could have messed, cut the uh, metal box out but I didn't really want to do that. Um, I did um, take off the sort of like round loops to protect the wheels from being pushed down upon to give it a lower ground cl clearance. It looks more reasonable now and I've also downsized the engine so the driver can actually see where he's going. Um, yeah. Um, mismatched wheels, but I think it's got something about it. Um, I hope you like it because I'm really, 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 I'm quite pleased with that. Rolls really well. Made some new housings for the wheels. Um, different. Let's say that it's very different. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love that. I think it's. A one-off and nobody else is going to make one like that I don't I didn't like the high pitch um, and I would have liked it to have been sloped from the back but 
the geometry of the car wouldn't lend to that so I had to go with what the car wanted and that was the closest I could do to what I wanted and what the car wanted. Now recently I've been very very lucky um, because I've found, see if I can pick it out for you actually, it's a bit of an effort but I'll get it, I'm really chuffed to have found this, I knew there was something I forgot. I've been looking for one of these for a long time and I couldn't get one for America but one just appeared in this country which amazed me and I pounced on it. Who remembers this? Captain Caveman! I can't say it very good but that's what I used to shout it to those who remember it. But I hadn't, I hadn't got one of these GMC wagons, um, panel vans I should say. All metal with real riders. But to get one with the Captain Caveman livery is um, just awesome. Great features at the back. It wasn't the best show in the world, I suppose, Captain Caveman. But back then, television was so bad, we'd watch anything. And that was on, and I quite liked it. And it was alright. It was better than some of the other cartoons. I have got a Hong Kong Fu van as well. I've got quite a few cartoon vans, so I'm very happy to have... One of those on two counts to have that casting and two to have something with Captain Caveman on. But what I was leading to also in the same cellar I got this. Now I've chased a few of these and lost them. And this one I just paid a reasonable price for. All metal. And there was another one of these um, in sort of like a brown. They did three. There's like I think it's a Honey Nut Loops one. It's a breakfast cereal anyway, put it like that. This one did have white walls and you know I'm not very keen on white walls so they've been turned around. I think that looks a much better look. I love this truck. This truck just ticks all the boxes for me. It's mean looking, looks like it's going to do the job, looks strong, great and it's got Top Cat on it. I mean, not everybody's cup of tea but I like to have, um, I like Top Cat, you know, it was alright. As we say back then, there was no on telly, so you watched it. Um, but there was another one I bought, and um, there's a brand called Mounds in America. I have got had a, a back like this one on it. If you imagine this one, I'm going to show you look just like that one, but in red. And I've made this. I've made a car transporter from it. As you can see, it's red, and um, it's just got sort of like some quite nice squirrels and other sort of like livery down the side doesn't say anything about mounds down there but um i cannibalized another truck and made this tilt so it completely works so the car i've got to go up it which we'll also show you show you as it um a slang there um is a um era savannah an era i haven't got many era cars but they are of exceptional quality, so just drive that up there and Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. There you go, there's a good British saying for you. I'm really, really pleased with the um, look of that. I think that's awesome. Outdone myself there, I think. I think many people would buy that in a flash. Why they don't make one like that is beyond me. Um, I have been lucky enough to find the Meister one as well. And I ne thought I'd never find one of those. But anyway, we'll let you have a quick look at this era car. Um, not the thickest metal in the world. A plastic base. Uh, rubber tyres. Authentic wheels, you can see. But what I like about it is it's got opening parts. You've got an opening bonnet there. So you can see some en engine detail inside. And you've got opening doors. So you can see inside there. You know I love opening parts. So that is just... It's got all the details as well. It's got the, um, the door guards on there. It's got the indicator lights. It's got... Um, I'm not sure if they're inserted details. I'll look for you. Yeah, they've got inserted lights. On the front and the back. 
you can probably see that better than me. You can see the VW badge there, the indicators. You can see where the number plate would be. You see the windscreen wipers molded into the windscreen. Wing mirrors. Awesome little car. So, um, this is for O-Dog as well, because he said he was sitting on the fence about this one. Um, there you go, O-Dog. I hope that um, convinces you how good this car is. I wasn't sure. And um, once I found it, I had opening doors and an opening hood or bonnet. Um, I had to take the plunge, and it is very, very good um, for what it is. Yes, you could say... The paint's not very thick and the metal's not very thick, but I think it's great. And it goes very nicely on the back of my new transporter, which will take pride of place there. Absolutely love it. I never intended that when I bought it. I just just came to me in a flash. Let's um, have a look at some more. This is the, um, the Mustang that XL Off-Road Bear put me onto, and... I have never seen a Mustang with a hood that opens that well. It's got a quite a definite click when it folds open. Um, but I'm very grateful to him for this exceptional open opening parts car. Um, the wheels do feel slightly rubber. Um, not the best wheels in the world, but it looks okay. I like the black stripe down the middle. you got the pony there. Or Mustang, I should say. Plastic base, Siku, of course. Just love the opening bonnet. Does it for me? Without the opening bonnet, it wouldn't be that good. But this is one that will interest them, um, Joe, as well. Um, Annapolis, whatever that is. But this is a Mac One uh, Mustang, um, and I thought I've not seen it. I don't know whether he has this one. Um, number thirty-five on the hood there. Uh, yellow wheels, plastic wheels, plastic base, no light details at the back. I think I'm going to paint those in and probably the um, fuel cap in the middle. The That does come off. It's not meant to, but quite a nice feature that you can um, take that off. I wouldn't suggest you take it off all the time because it would get quite loose. But um, I like the ones that have the louvers on the back and I've just bought... Um, Oh, I think it was a Johnny Lightning or something like that with the louvers on the back. I think it's a nice feature, although I bet it really interferes with your um, your visibility. Um, yeah, that's great. Opening hood would be nice on that one, but it's it pops. It's got something about that. Anyway, uh, we'll just go over these two vans. Oh, no, we'll go come back to the vans. Now, this one is um, a Tomica pocket car. Um, quite chuffed with this one. Um, rare thing, especially new, but it had a huge problem. Um, if you can see underneath here, I don't know if you can see now, um, there's a gap there between the front um, of the chassis and the cab. Now, when I bought it, there wasn't, and I had to disassemble the cab, grind that off, and put it back together. It brought on a huge migraine. It was worth it. I fixed it, but I went through a lot of pain to fix this bad boy, and now it tips completely. So you can see the metal in there, the metal um, engine. Not the best one I've ever seen in there, but at least it's metal. Um, I had to make a new pivot point, and it works quite well. There we go. You see it works well. I'm quite pleased with myself. I wouldn't have been able to um, ooh, um, make that happen in such a professional manner once upon a time. It is difficult with my arm. Um, it did cause me a lot of pain, but this is a rare monster. And it's very gratifying, although it's difficult for me to do anything. Um, I can still accomplish something. So... Although it cost me a lot of pain, I hope that's you can understand how, how it, why, and how I do that. Yes, um, in one way it cost me more, but in another way, it's the satisfaction to know you're not completely useless and you can still do something. Um, I'd love to work, but I'd only hurt myself or somebody else if I did. So um, I wouldn't want to live with a 
that um, the fact if I heard somebody so difficult. Um, a little disappointed that the back's not metal, but it is nicely printed plastic. Um, this insert for the wheels at the bottom is plastic, but the chassis itself is metal. So I hope you like that one because you don't see it very often. There is some for sale in America, but they're usually quite beaten up. Really pleased with you, with the functioning part. And it gives me even more pleasure because I fixed it. This one is highly interesting. Let me get you what it is. It's a Siku and it's a Gumpert Apollo 2009. Whatever that is. No idea. But I like the look of it. Super cool. Lovely blue. Nice badge there. It's got light inserts on the front. Uh, light inserts on the back. Plastic base. Uh, plastic wheels with rubber tyres. And the party trick for this one is the going doors open. Not seen that one anywhere but I'm sure you'll all like that one because that in my opinion is pretty stunning. Plastic spoiler at the back. I just saw it and I thought, wow, that's brilliant. Really like it. That's an incredible looking car. Sort of like a mishmash. Audi, Porsche. They're all in there. It's a bit of a mishmash of everything. Um, oh, I can't think of the name. The one with the four exhaust. It looks like a bit like them. Um, looks a bit like everything, but what a beautiful car. This is sort of like um, a fancy car. Picked this up cheap. From Sainsbury's, they were marking them down. Um, it's for the Incredibles. It's got a plastic base. But I just like the look of that. And the fact you can see the engine in there. Um, I might do something with it. I'll probably take the badge off the front. Um, and what I might do is um, cut the central post out there. Take it apart, cut the central and put proper windows in there so you can see in. Um and I'll put uh, real riders on. So that will be a custom in the pipeline. And I'll probably paint that silver in there black. It, it can be made into something quite special that. With a little bit of thought. And clever thinking. I think this could be a very um, entertaining vehicle. Just saw it and... Um, can go it can go for a lot of money that I was lucky to pick it up so cheap um this is an interesting car by Hot Wheels I have got a larger scale one Lancia Stratos I always liked this um, car since I was a boy um delivery on this is okay the grey is good hasn't got any lights I might want to paint those in um obviously the lights are down at the front number 44 interesting stripe down the, down the middle um, I think it's got a red interior, great plastic place and plastic wheels, but this one I've just got, I love it, um, quite a hard one to find, um, have they got holster wheels, no it isn't the ones with holster, in, so it's not the faster and ever wheels, but they are highlighted and look a little bit like them, it's got a lovely Hot Wheels banner down the door there, um, an orange stripe down the middle and a lovely blue. Grey base on this one, plastic, plastic wheels, but um, I think that's a really pretty car. Very lucky to have that one. Uh, it's another Siku for you. It's a Siku, double check. Is it a yes, it's a Siku. Um, just like a dumper. A um, little bit disappointed that the back's not metal, it's only plastic, but the, the, the chassis is. Um, Quite cheap and nasty wheels, but they look okay. I just bought it because it was unusual. Uh, got it from Amazon. They made up the money for the free postage. So sometimes you just got to get what fits in with the £20 limit. Um, this is a very interesting uh, car. This is... Just check. Make sure I get it right. Is it a Para 60? Yeah, it's a Para 64. This is a Mitsubishi... Mitsubishi GTO 3000 GT. Excuse <coughs> me. Um, in red, you can't. This does always come, also come in green. Fantastic wheels. 
Um, with the paras, um, you get a metal base, although it's quite plain. As I say, um, real riders on beautiful wheels, inserts for the lights at the front and back. Great detail in there, actually, in the lights as well. You get the Mitsubishi um, badge on the front, sunroof. Beautiful thing. What's not to like about that? That really is nice. But this one is another one that's only just come out. Exactly the same model. But I like this one even more. It's a Puma livery. Where have you seen a Puma livery on it? No sunroof in this one. Number three. It's all the same apart from the sunroof being changed. And the pump, um, Puma livery. I, I, I add van on the front there. Same detailed headlights. Okay, make sure to get it in a minute for you. Puma, that's a beauty. Absolutely beautiful car. I'm sure some of you want to get your hands on one of those. So there you go. I've not seen it anywhere else. Absolutely stunning. And this one, as a comparison, is a Tomica one. Similar sort of wheels, not quite as good. Very close, very close. Nice. Um, about the same money. This one has suspension where the other one doesn't. And this one has a plastic base. Uh, they both have the place. But there you go. There's comparison from one to the other. Very similar car. Very similar car. I think I'd give the edge to the para. But I think the para is more expensive. So there you go. We've got those. And we've gone through all of those. Uh, a couple of trucks for you. Uh, this one's just a Lido, which is Odell, so that's spelt backwards. Um, Odell was a partner in the original Matchbox company, and he went off and formed his own company called Lido, which is Odell, his name backwards. And they make mainly trucks and things they can put liveries on the side. They make the money out of making cars for companies. They're not the best quality. Plastic base, plastic wheels. The wheels are usually authentic. Penguin McVitie's the biscuit make here. I quite liked it. Um, it just says a step side van. It doesn't even say underneath what type of van it is. I'm not sure. Uh, somebody might know and say, oh that's a particular type of van. Has got an interior. Well, sort of, but there's no glass. Very basic. But this one has got glass, and I love this one. This is a Morris LD van. It was quite popular um 60s and 70s. I'm not sure. Oh, 59, I think it was made. But it, they went on for quite a while. They were used by the post office and all sorts of people. This one has got slightly better wheels. They are plastic, but a, a better quality plastic. Um, this one has a metal base as well. Um, I'm particularly pleased with this one. And the keen eyed amongst you will notice the royal warrant there. Um, what happens in Britain, just in case you don't know, is um, the Queen puts her name to certain brands, and HP is one of those. Um, and they can then display, if the royal household use, use them, they can display the royal livery on their boxes. It doesn't help as much now with selling products, but back in the day, if the royal family um, used the product, then it gave people confidence in it. And that's what was the beginning of brands. Before brands, there was no quality to anything. They would put sawdust in, into products in this country, anything, just to expand it and sell it. Um, but then um, trade and standards got involved and you've got the things like the Royal Warrant that um, brought about brands and brand loyalty. There you go, a bit of history for you, which is quite interesting. I like, I worked in the grocery and the retail industry, so um, I know quite a lot about brands and how they came about and what we're for, especially within the retail industry. This is... I better pick it up on the other hand. Uh, this is a particularly oh, oh, there we go. I thought that might happen. Crash. Ah, oh, dear. Never mind. 
very lucky to have bought this by itself. Um, there was a Porsche one that came out recently from the Team Transport from Hot Wheels, but I don't think it showed this model off to its full glory, and this one does. And I didn't really appreciate how much is metal. Only this top piece is plastic. Absolutely stunning this thing is. Absolutely stunning. I love it. Absolutely love it. So lucky to have this. Remarkable thing. But there you go. I've got the um, the Lancia. Out of the Thrill Climbers. And that, although it isn't the one that actually comes with it. Because I was lucky enough to buy this by itself. Um, half price, which is great. Um, I had this one out of the Thrill Climbers, so I'm not particularly bothered. It doesn't have the livery of the Golf in there. And so that's in there. I don't know whether I've shown this one before, but this is um, a Treasure Hunt um, green light, hence the green bottom and the green wheels. This is a um, oh, let's just get it right. Which type of truck it is? Oh, no, an International Jura Star. Okay. Quite cool, that. I haven't got many. Um, I've got a few gr uh, green light chases. I'm not sure if I showed this before, but this one I bought. Um, not that I, I don't particularly like this truck. It's quite boring. I like the, I like the older fashioned trucks, if you know what I mean. And the doors do open at the back. I like the Gulf, the Gulf livery. Also got a cheap. Um, but it also has like a little ramp that comes out the back. I can't get out at the moment. But take it from me, there's a ramp that, um, in there that pulls out. Um, I pushed it in so it doesn't go missing. But uh, be careful, it does get stuck in there. Um, and you can get it out with a pair of pliers, but you're going to damage it. So it's a trade-off whether you lose it or um, whether you damage the ramp. Oh, lovely. All metal, that's what I love. All metal, just this. Just the top that's plastic. Grand. Anyway, um, we'll do another Shuko. Um, another um, um, Siku, and then we're going to go on to Shukos. Um, just, this is just a set I bought recently. I think it came from um, The Entertainer. Just a little... Um, isn't even hasn't even got a badge on the front front, but I presume this is a Ford, but it could be a Mercedes. Just an interesting van. Um, plastic wheels, but quite nice looking. Nice paint job. You've got the rear view mirror and the windscreen wipers in the, in the windscreen there. Um, painted the headlights, but they look okay. Hasn't got any tail lights, but you have got a registration plate down there, and you have got a tow bar. Nice fan, nice fan. Um, I was just making up some money with this to get free delivery again. Um, but quite an interesting hauler. Um, just sort of like fold up and fold away, sort of. Um, it has got a tow hook on it as well. Six wheels. Again, what type of truck that is. Could be a Scania, I suppose. But it's not really... Um, Siku, there you go. Does it say underneath what it is? Not really, no. Just a truck, 24 hour service transport, and like a telephone number on there. It's quite nice, I like any sort of like um, breakdown or tow truck. Can't really go wrong. Now these you're gonna like, these are gonna like. They're not the most common cars in the world. Um, I have got um, newer Shukos, um, but these are older ones, and these ones are going to show you first and not 1 to 64. These are 1 to 66. Okay, a lovely Mercedes. I can't remember the, the model number. See if we can get it off here. I can't, I can't see what it's. Oh, it does. There you go. Two, 200, I think it is. Mercedes 200. It's hard to read. The base is a little bit mottled. There we go. It's an old-fashioned Mercedes. Lovely condition. Because this is quite old. This comes from the 60s, this one. All metal base. Um, plastic wheels, but they're nicely done. 
obviously you can see on top it's a taxi which uh, many of them were because they were diesel went like tanks very well made these cars you don't see them come up for sale very often I've had these a long time um, and I hope you enjoy seeing these so there's that one here's a Passat I think it is VW Passat I sure do yeah, VW Passat underneath. Oh, by the way, the um, Mercedes had opening doors. They do do the similar sort of quality now, Shuko, but they don't have opening parts. It's all about price, I suppose, now. Um, no lens detail, but they, they are all metal. Um, got a paint, paint blacked um, bonnet there, but it doesn't open. But the doors do open on this one. The interior there, yellow steering wheel, jazzy, very good condition. Cast number plate there, and at the rear, again, plastic wheels. Cool car, cool car. This is a very, you'll find this one cool. I'm not sure if it's a polo or a golf. I think it's a golf. Double check, it's a golf for you. Yeah, it's a golf. There we go, it is a golf. Doesn't have hand to be sure. Cast details at the front again. The lights and the, the registration plate. And at the back. Opening doors. There you go. You see underneath Shuko. Plastic wheels. Pretty generic what they do. They have different ones for different cars. Nice um, bent detail on the, on the bonnet there. This one is a particular peach, an opal. Cracking cars, very hard to find. I like the opal. Is it the opal? What is it? The opal, what's the name? I've got, I've got, this is a particular favourite of mine. Well, this is an opal manta to the line. An opal manta. There you go. It's an early manta though. Not the uh, distinctive shape that I um, associate with being a manta. There you are, it is an, a Manta. There is um, an Opel um, GT with this sort of like light assembly on the back, which is one of my favourite cars, that's what threw me. Lovely car, a bit play worn here and there, but again, opening doors. Nice. This one, you, you're all going to like as well. Not my particular favourite make, but this is um, a 1600 BMW. Probably my favourite BMW, and one of the best BMWs made, a workhorse. Great condition, opening doors, metal base, nice plastic tyres. I've never seen this many in one place, it's taken me many years to collect these together. That many. This one I've got recently. Got it quite cheap and polished it up. It takes no introduction. It's a VW Beetle. But um, quite unusual because it does have the opening doors. Left hand drive, which is a bit unusual. Given it's, um, mind you, it is on the left hand side. Left hand side. Um, nice wheels, plastic. Um, that one had very little paint. I was in a sorry state, so I polished it up. Um, it's comparable with the um, VW one with the opening um, engine cover at the back. That's a cool car. I've not seen that anywhere else. Now, the next ones are a slightly larger scale. And we'll end with those. This is a 1 to 43 Shuko. And it's. Um, VW Passat variant. There we go. Oh, my arms hurt now. Um, I like this one. You know I love opening parts. So this one has got a plethora of opening parts. An opening hood. Bonnet, I should say. Details inside there. Not the best detail, but at least there's detail in there. Opening doors. You can see the interior. Nice inserted um, plastic light details there and badge. 
you can go to registration plate sort of like a, a sandwich this with a, a metal base a plastic interior and a metal um, shell um, but what is nice about this one which is quite surprising is an open tailgate wow how cool is that that is just mega in very good condition because in its age again that one's knocking on that's got to be 40 50 years old that puppy very nice and um, this one is not a um um a shoe coat it's a poly toys um i think poly toys are made in spain but i'm not exactly sure i'm pretty sure it's pretty sure it's right it might be spain or italy but pretty sure it's spain tires want to come off this all the time I've got a few poly toys, they're quite good quality and they usually do a larger scale. This one is 1 to 43, it's the same as the other, but it's possibly my favourite car in the world. No opening. Um, well, I don't know whether you call it a bonnet, um, let's call it a luggage compartment. Um, opening doors, you can see the gauges there. Hasn't got a steering wheel, I think it's missing. Is it there or is it that shown in there? It might be that. Well, if it is, it's another left hand drive. Oh. All metalless, rubber tyres, metal wheels, no opening tailgate, but in pretty good condition. It's got some chips here and there, nice wheels. Um, not the best roll in the world this, it goes okay but no, it doesn't roll that well. Um, perhaps if I dismantled and, and did something with the wheels but you destroy the um, or originality of this. Um, it's um, obviously got something wrong inside. Um, I'm in two minds whether to open it up and fix it. Maybe one day, maybe. But um, I love them. Um, the fastback and the squareback, brilliant cars. Anyway, I'm dead tired now, but we'll finish these last two. There's another Shuko, a BMW. Uh, pretty sure this is 1 to 43 as well. Yet yeah, to say it there. This one is immaculate. Um, I don't think this is a 1600. I think this is the. It's got like a, um, a sticker over it. I don't want to remove it because it says 3153. Maybe that's the. Uh, production number uh, metal uh, plastic wheels but this one has loads of incredible opening parts look at that front tilting bonnet that's just oh, I love that the engineering involved to do that on a toy car you don't very often see them bother just too much effort in. But look at that it fits so lovely Look at the engineering, they don't just don't you just don't see that now. Absolutely superb. Opening doors. Another left hand drive car. Um Perhaps it's because they drive, I'm not sure. Yeah, they, they do drive on the left hand side. I suppose that's right. I suppose it's right for the Germans, I was getting mixed up then. I suppose it's right there. Yeah, they drive on the other side of the road towards. I've forgotten that. Opening um, trunk. Boot. Lovely orange. is another plus for me. Um, it's a plastic sandwich like the other one. So metal, plastic, metal. Um, inserted um, tail lights that one. Um, it might have jeweled headlights. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe not, but it's nicely done. It's nicely done. They are proud of the service, put it that way. Oh, I'm absolutely jiggered. Last but not least is a particular favourite of mine, a VW Scirocco. Uh, this one's beaten up. I'm in two minds whether to repaint this one. I did fix the wheels. The wheels were toast. It was then um, the wheels were so pushed into the um, body, so that has been fixed. And um, so I have had this one apart, but 
nice opening there. Bonnet, cracking engine detail under there. I'm not sure if I painted some of it. I might have painted some of it when I had it apart. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, opening doors. You can actually see they've put like a checker paint floor in there. That's quite cool. Left hand drive. Opening tailgate. These really are well engineered cars. I wasn't aware such things existed. This is a rare beast as well, the VW Scirocco. Um, one of the, most, uh, the first generation, I would have said. Um, nice um, badge detail, registration plate detail. Um, one of the um, inserts for the um, brake lights gone, but I suppose I could paint that in. Um, again, I'm in two minds whether to do something with this one, but just fixed it, the wheels, uh, and left it at that for now. Anyway. I'm suffering now, so hope you enjoyed those. Uh, went on for quite a bit. Um, take care. Bye.